Hello everyone, it's Dove again. So I thought I would show you this brick of coconut coir malt that I went over briefly in the other video that I made about working with coir. And I had mentioned how fast it hydrates compared to the fine coir. This is the this is the stuff that's made just for mulching. And so I needed another brick hydrated, and I thought maybe I might be able to get it on camera just how fast it is. And I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I only have one hand to work with here. But I thought I would go ahead and see what we can do on camera with the time allotted that I have. I only have 11 minutes to make videos. So, kind of put the hamper on my ability to make videos all in one shot. Normally I have to split them up and everything. But I thought perhaps I could do it live, you know, instead of having to split it up because it really doesn't take very long. The thing is that if you let it sit here, if you add your water and go ahead and let it sit, you will see it start to expand. But with this big mulch, it's almost just as easy to start breaking it up as you're watering it, just because it's very bulky and um, obviously not as compact and tight knit as the fine flour. So I thought maybe I might be able to do this one-handed. You can see the top layer already starting to come off. And it would be easier if I had both hands free because I would be spraying with one hand and breaking up with the other. But you can see in comparison how much easier it is. Because it's such a large texture. A quarter of it's already broken up. And it's been what? A minute and a half, something like that? Yeah. And I also wanted to mention that the, the fine coir that I hydrated in the first video it turned out to equal about four five-gallon buckets. Actually, it was just right at four of the five-gallon buckets that I got after it was all hydrated. And this is about three. And so, either <laughs> the fine uh, coir makes more than they say they do, more than they say it does, or this doesn't make as much as they say it does. Take your pick, I don't know, but this one only makes about three five gallon buckets, and the other one will fill up four five gallon buckets. And so it's dry back here, but it's broken up. So you can tell that adding more water will just help to wet it down because I mean see I don't even have this doesn't even have to be wet right now at this point this is the middle of the block and I'm able to break it up it's not wet but I'm able to break it up and so you can just see how easily this comes apart once you start adding water and it is rough on the hands you know but it's not too bad I kind of like working with the uh, wood chips, I guess. Sorry, I'm paying more attention to what I'm doing than I am what's on the screen, so... <laughs> if what I'm doing is not on the screen at any time, that's because I'm not looking at the screen, so I apologize. The whole point of making the video so you can see it 
Okay, I'm not going to add too much more water because this stuff does not take as much as they say it does. And I can move this stuff aside and you can clearly see standing water so there is water wasted when you're doing the mulch. Even when you use just what you need, seemingly, you'll still find water in the bottom. And it's heavy. It's not quite as heavy as the fine grade stuff, though, because, again, there's not as much here. I mean, if you review that other video, you'll be able to tell that the fine par fills up this garden uh, part much more. And we can a little swimming pool down there. And like I said, this stuff they don't t they don't say that they have processed this coir to remove the excess sodium. And so it might be in your best interest to just rinse it when you're done. And I'm not sure if I can show you that while I'm videoing because this thing is huge and I usually take two hands to um, to tip it over. And see, there's, there's still a few pieces that are dry, but for the most part, it's all at least moistened. And it's not going to expand any more than this. So putting more water on this right now just doesn't make sense because it's done expanding. It's, it's not even really expanding. It expands a little bit, obviously, but it breaks up more than it expands. It's not like the really fine car. Sorry for being out of breath. This stuff is pretty heavy. And it is still very hot. I have to wait until nightfall almost to do anything around here because it's so hot. But yeah, I'm not going to add any more than that. What I'll do is I'll tip this thing up on its end. This is its end. And uh, I'll let the water drain out. And then, well, here we go. Just be careful when you're doing that because the coir is going to want to slide down to the end. Just like that. So just very slowly tip your wheel, wheelbarrow down. And you can see all the brackish water draining off. You know, I haven't done any kind of scientific analysis, so I don't know how much sodium is in that water. And I'm hoping it's not too much because the first ones that I rehydrated, I forgot to rinse. But, and then just very gently, go through it with your water. I say very gently because you can see it. Possibly you can see it starting to fall. <laughs> and, oh. The train says hello. <laughs> if I had both hands, it would be a lot easier and I wouldn't be so worried about it falling. But you just keep it here on its end while you're rinsing it. There we go. And the water will start draining out there at the bottom. And if you want to be really thorough, you can get in there with your hands. You can tip it upright, get in there in your with your hands and stir it around and then tip it back on its end and rinse it again. But I'm being lazy because I'm really hot and I'm tired and I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to really thoroughly rinse that. And you can see it's just like a little waterfall. And so, I just make sure I'm getting the, ba the back side like that so that it's going behind the coir. 
and then just go at it straight, straight at it. And I'm not real particular. I mean, I am usually, but sometimes I'm not. <laughs> and then, like I said, it didn't seem to be hurting the plants. This is just an extra precaution. Which I don't know if you can tell or not, but the water's still flowing out. And so what you want to do is just let it sit here and let it drain. And then tip it back up on its side and you'll be able to start using it. It'll still be sopping wet, but that's okay. And from here, you'll put it on your garden beds, wherever you need mulch around your plants. And it's actually a very good mulch. I've had really good success with it, and it keeps the ground pretty moist. And it absorbs water pretty well, very easily. Yep, I think it's just about done. All right, everyone. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.